Hey guys, it's Dr. Shaw. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to talk about something that I think a lot of patients will find very helpful. You know, obviously my favorite operation is rhinoplasty surgery and you'll see a lot of videos about that and you'll see me uh, talking about rhinoplasty and answering questions on the uh, web about that. Um, so one thing that brings, uh, brings a lot of patients some discomfort after rhinoplasty surgery is the concept of managing the swelling that they see in the weeks to months after the topical dorsal splint comes off the nose. And uh, I seem to answer a lot of questions from patients who either are afraid to talk to other surgeons or don't feel comfortable talking to their own surgeons who've already done the operation. So one of the things we do in our office is we actually have a, a pretty standard regimen that all rhinoplasty patients use for about two months after surgery. And it involves a combination of nasal taping at night when they sleep and then three times a day soft tissue massage. The vast majority of the nasal swelling is gone in the first several months after surgery, but literature and research has shown that even by one year, there's a minuscule amount of swelling in the nose. So one of the things patients can do is control that swelling through behavior modification, adjustments to diet, al alcohol, and salt intake. And so what we can do uh, uh, is teach you how to take care of your nose. And the two things that patients can do, I think, that do the greatest amount of good would be uh, nighttime taping and three times a day soft tissue massage. So I love to use a, a product called the 3M Micropore Tape. And it looks like this. This is the box that your doctor would necessarily show you. I don't know if you can see it with the light, but uh, there you go. Um, and it looks like this. It's a small, uh, very like almost, I don't know, maybe a half inch uh, type of brown paper tape. And it works great. It hides really nicely on um, all types of skin. And you wear it at night when you sleep and it comes off in the morning in the shower. And so what I tell patients to do is to tape like this. So this part of the nose is known as the uh, uh, tip, and right above it is what they call the super tip, and it's a great place where people can, uh, if they can reduce the swelling in this space, it's, it allows for really nice shaping of the tip. So what I do is this. I have patients put in a little piece of tape right here over the super tip, and they do this at night, and then they do a few more pieces of tape uh, with a little tiny bit of overlap like this, And finally, this last piece of tape up here at the radix comes in and gets that last piece of taping. So what it does is it acts like a little ace wrap and it just holds the tissues down. When you sleep flat at night after the first week or whenever your surgeon tells you you can sleep flat, all that blood pressure uh, equalizes between your toes and your head and a lot of blood can you know, uh, flow into the face. And so in the morning, some people who don't do this recognize that their noses are actually much more swollen than they are at the end of the day before they've gone to sleep. And so it's nice to be able to feel like you've controlled some of that swelling at night. So this is what I tell my patients to do at night. Go ahead and put the nighttime tape on. And then we do soft tissue massage. And of course, I'm sure you've seen these before. These are tongue depressors. They make great little molding devices. You know, even though there's not a lot of swelling after one week, there's still stuff there and you can feel it. It gets squishy here and it's often very firm at the nose and the nasal bones are tender. And so you do things to make that uh, move along. And one thing that we do, we have a, basically a three step exercise that I tell patients to do for one minute per step at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's nine minutes total in a day. And the first thing we do is have people take just the flat side of this uh, tongue depressor and just gently press down very lightly to exercise lymphatic drainage and basically glue the skin nicely down to the cartilage and bone framework of the nose. That's the exercise for one minute there. Then the next one is nasal um, sidewall shaping. And so you wanna come into a mirror and make sure these are nice and straight like this. And then you just gently press in one, two, in a very pulsatile motion and what that does is it basically tells the side nasal bones that have been broken to heal and it controls sidewall swelling. And sometimes you can come in and get the tip this way with that, but we can save the tip as the third part. So the third step is basically tip management and that would be things like uh, side compression of the tip, vertical compression of the tip, and just mold it. So if your nose, if you think of your nose as a lump of clay, 
that's almost perfect. It's that last little bit of styling and last bit of contouring that you're doing. It's no different than how you design your contouring makeup for your nose, but it basically allows you to manage this swelling this way, the swelling on the nasal sidewalls, and again, you wanna keep these as straight as you possibly can, and so keeping a nice straight line between, uh, you know, as seen in a mirror works really well, and then of course, you know, molding the sides of the nose. So that's how we manage uh, nasal swelling after surgery and patients have found it to be very, very effective. It gives you a little bit of control in your out outcome and uh, you don't feel so helpless watching the swelling go up and down and up and down as you exercise or eat nachos or drink some beer or whatever it is in your life or go to the gym, bump up your heart rate for an hour and then wonder why your nose is pounding at the end of the day. So it's little things like this that will help control your nose and slowly get that ebb and flow of swelling to settle down and become basically your normal nose. And again, it's about a year, so being patient's important. We just have people do this for the first two months after surgery and they're good. Um, so stay tuned for more uh, tips and tricks in plastic surgery, but as you know, rhinoplasty is my favorite thing. And so uh, nice talking to you and uh, hopefully we'll put up some more videos soon.